It's raining, but how much? You ever wonder who invented the rain gauge? Most people think it was King Sejong the Great. He was the emperor of Korea back in the 1400s. But it was this thing right here. This thing, this ruined agriculture. Why? Well, in the 1960s, there was an inventor from Denmark that made a sprayer. It was awful. It was horrible. And of course, as salesmen, they couldn't sell it. When they showed up to the farmer's farm, they were like, hey, you go pound sand. We all know your sprayer's junk. So the inventor says, take this with you. Tell them, I will give this to you if you give me 15 minutes to try to tell you about our sprayer. Salesmen were like, what are you talking about? That thing's like 25 cents. These guys are buying combines and tractors. He's like, hey, you don't know farmers. Farmers will milk a 10 cent free refill cup of coffee for 12 hours, not leave a tip. Unfortunately, he was right. And they're still making those awful, awful, awful sprayers to this day. Today we're with uh, Laura Huff. And Laura, where are you from? I am from Meridian, Mississippi. Where's that at? It Besides is, Mississippi. It is five hours south, uh, about 30 minutes from the Alabama line. Okay, is that where you're from originally? Yes, born and raised. Okay. It does it have a Walmart? It has two Walmarts. Ooh, a lot. And, and a Walmart la neighborhood la market. <laughs> then it's a city. Yes, I hate to brag. <laughs> My little town is a 400. We don't even have a dollar store. Oh, wow. Yeah, I know. We have a Casey's. You ever heard of those? No. Yeah, there's a reason. Oh my gosh. Bless your heart. <laughs> Bless my, oh, I know what that means. That's an yeah. insult. Uh, uh. <laughs> okay, you're from the city. Yes. So when I say uh, rural America or like farmers, what comes to your mind? Um, a lot of open land, mm -hmm. uh, pastures, crops, Yeah. horses. <laughs> There seems to be a, a divide between like city and, and, and the country and like uh, people that, you know, that are urban friends and people like me that are farmers. Okay. What, I mean, what do you, what's your opinions of like the farmers themselves? So in Mississippi, I have a lot of friends who live in the Delta and mm -hmm. they're, they're a bunch of farmers in the Delta. Okay. So I have friends who are part of farming families. So I, wait, what was the question again? <laughs> What's your opinion of farmers okay. themselves? Um, I think they're hardworking. Yeah. Uh, I think of, I like visualize them as men. I feel like they're probably salt to the earth, good people. I don't really know. I haven't okay. thought a lot about them, to be honest. Why do you think there's such a divide? I mean, why do you think there's, there's so many people in the city that don't like farmers and so many farmers that don't like people in the city? Well, I think there's so much division rooted in not knowing yeah. or the unknown. So I just think there's like a misunderstanding. If you can't visualize or you don't know this kind of person, it's easy to think bad or poor things about them. Yeah. I put out a social media post asking if we could ask our urban friends one question, what would it be? And you know, I, I'm as bad as anybody else, at, like prejudging people in the city. Okay. But then I saw a bunch of questions coming from ag that maybe weren't so nice oh. and it kind of makes me realize that it's it's a two-way street wow what do, what do they think about us oh come on <laughs> basically that i mean it's almost you do live in the cities but you're almost in a bubble oh yeah i can see that okay but we're ignoring our old bubble of living in the country touche yeah okay well, you go to the grocery store Okay. Like, what's in the back of your mind when you're buying food? Um, honestly, I kind of go for price. Yeah. But. But. Um, and kind of what will last the longest in my fridge. Yeah. But other than that, except for I am, there's this one lettuce that's Nashville grown, like 30 miles out. That is the best. But other than that, I don't really think a whole lot. What's so special about this one lettuce? It's so good. It lasts so long in the fridge. It okay. is kind of expensive. But it's from like 32.7 miles away. Oh. oh my God, it's phenomenal. Do you think it's so good because it's close? Or? I do, yeah, okay. I think it's because it's close. It's not like going all of these random places before it gets to the turnip truck, which is where I get it. Yeah. But it's really good. So what do you do for a living? I work in banking. In banking? Yeah. Right, do you embezzle a lot? I, uh, no. <laughs> I'm too, I'm, I joke too much and I don't want to get myself in trouble, so no. <laughs> Okay, how confident when you're going through the grocery store in the safety of that food? Oh, uh, you know, half and half. Out yeah. of, I don't really try to think about it. 
Yeah. I don't want to go into like if there's like wax all over my apple or if there's like pesticides all over it. I try not to think about it. Do you look for the labels? Um, no. Again, like I'm yeah. in my early 20s. I'm kind of going for price at this point. Yeah. Well, I mean that's fair. Yeah. Okay, so I'm a farmer, okay. and sometimes I get really frustrated about people in the city not understanding what I do. Okay. But I don't, I don't know how to talk to someone like you okay. because we we do live in two different very worlds. What would your advice be for me? Um, don't worry about what said city folk thinks. If they don't like you, then that's their own fault. That's not, that might not be like great me. advice. A lot of country but... people don't like me too. Oh, well, maybe that's just a you thing. That's no, uh, I don't know. If they don't like you, it's your own fault. And if you can't reach them, then you can't reach them. So just try the next person. Okay. Like if you had questions about ag, do you know where you would go to get answers? <laughs> the, uh, the internet. Okay. Google. Yeah, that's, it's, that's that's what we need to work on somehow. Yes. <laughs> where do you get your your opinions on farming and that? Um, probably just from what I know from back home, which isn't yeah. a whole lot, granted. But, yeah. Uh, other than that, you know, like old storybooks, like old McDonald, wasn't he a farmer? He was. He was. E-I-E-I. -E -I. Oh. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that. That's, that's Nursery it. rhymes, cartoons. Yes. Uh, do you think that's how the farms are now? Um, no. 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 Like, I'm envisioning much more machinery. Yeah. Um, probably less people. I don't know. Yeah. I don't no, know. you're exactly right. But it's okay that you don't know that because honestly, I don't know that much about banking. Oh, uh, that's. Fair. I know that they charge you like if you write a check for more than you have in the amount. Oh. That really ticks them off. When you uh, bounce your check, yeah. I was trying to put it in better terms. Uh, I got you. <laughs> Thanks for spending some time with us here on Shark Farmer TV. For more stories about people in agriculture, catch my shows on Rural Radio Channel 147 Sirius XM. There's more in-depth discussions on my podcast, and of course, you can check out previous episodes of this show on my YouTube channel. Find out more at sharkfarmer.com.